I had the honor, the privilege of being hired in 1984 to be the first deputy director of Equal Rights Advocates. I had that position for over 10 years, which was just incredible. We had some huge, big, really meaningful cases. During the 80s and 90s, ERA really built on those firsts. They weren't just about trying to get access. It was about having quality jobs and enforcing every law that demanded that in this country, making sure that our intersectional identities were seen in every case we brought. And we brought a lot of cases. The case against the U.S. Forest Service, which was amazing. Our case against the San Francisco Fire Department. It was a race and gender discrimination case. It led to a landmark settlement that made sure that women and people of color entered and succeeded in the fire department. I was just so happy to work for a law firm where we could, excuse my expression, but sue the bastards. Police officer Bluett Colombano, she finally said, I've had it. This can't be allowed to go on. When you need help, you call the police. But in my case, I needed help from the police, so I called ERA. I got a pension for life and a settlement and my dignity. ERA helped me get my dignity back. What makes it remarkable and groundbreaking is the fact that sexual harassment up until that point wasn't really seen as something particularly special. It was just the price of the paycheck. And ERA is like, no, that's not what school and work are for. So much of ERA's advocacy is about building power in our clients and supporting them in being their most courageous selves. In 1991, we represented undocumented workers in a tortilla factory. They were standing up for themselves, for other women in this position, and they were saying, this is who we are, and this is what we want, and this is what we deserve. That same year, ERA plays a key role in the passage of the California Family Rights Act ensuring employees 12 weeks of job-protected paid family leave. By the end of the 90s, ERA was building a nationwide gender justice movement, case by case and state by state. 